Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Clay Ramage back again with another Goodwill Bins haul. Um, Cindy and I went yesterday and found some great stuff, some exciting items. So I hope you guys enjoy our video today. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Make sure you hit the like button, the thumbs up button. If you like this kind of content, it really helps support the channel a lot. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and let's just get into this haul. Um, one of the first things I found was this, and I just, I don't know, I just fell in love with it. It's a hat. It's a Cirque, Cirque, Cirque de Sol hat. It's a little too tall for the video. But, uh, yeah, it's actually a vintage hat, too. It's not a newer one. Um, based on the tag. I think it's Soleil. Soleil? I don't know. Anyway, I don't know how to pronounce that. But... Look at that, isn't it a fun hat? The feather's kind of deteriorating a little bit all over everything, but still what a fun hat. So that'll put down at the pink elephant because that kind of stuff does well. And I think especially now with Halloween coming up, you know, that's a great item for the pink elephant. I have no idea what to uh, price it at, but we'll figure that out. I'll do some research. I haven't really looked up any of this stuff, so we're just winging it today. Um, Found this vintage tin. It's a strawberry tin. Somebody must have had a strawberry kitchen because there are a number of different strawberry um, kitchen accessories that were donated. So and then I found some books, which we'll go through real quick. This is a centennial album of the Civil War. Um, again, this is not a huge dollar item. There's one that sold for $10 on eBay. Um, so. Let's see if I can. I should have made a little room before I started the video. There we go. This was my favorite find from the books. It's called The Story of the Ship. But look at the graphics on this. This is published in 1919, so it's over 100 years old. It does have some condition issues, but don't we all at 100 years old? Um, just some great pictures um, explaining the different boats. And the history. That's just really cool. Oh, look at this one. From the Spanish Armada. So, yeah. So, I'm anxious to actually look through that book. I think that would be a lot of fun. Gordon Grant. Books and Games by McLaughlin Brothers. Fun. Anyway. Then I found this. It's a five album. Five book set. Album. Beersy Jackson and the Olympians. This is like a $20 item. Now, at our bins, you pay by the inch. So in this case, you know, it's like five inches. So I would have paid like $1.50 for this. And these sell for like 20 to, I think, 25 if I remember right. I looked that up when we were still at the bins. And then we've been watching different YouTubers that are resellers. And for some reason, VHS tapes keep coming up in almost every one of them. So we found some VHS tapes today yesterday actually but this one we bought I bought it at least for personal use it's called the egg and I Mon Pa Kettle had a series of movies some of you may remember them we love those when our daughter was growing up we love watching those um so we grabbed this for that reason thought that'd be fun to watch but then we found a number of them brand new sealed Gone with the Wind still sealed in the package, this one comes from Target. Kindergarten Cop, another one of our favorite movies. Um, Seal. Gentlemen Prefer Blondes. This one I picked up just because it has Marilyn Monroe in it. She's always a popular item to sell. And then this one, Hello Dolly. This is the one featuring Bette Midler. I mean, Barbara Streisand. And Walter Matthau. Sorry, I'm getting all my people confused. Story of my life. But anyway, so there were those for the VHS tapes. And then we picked up some other books. Um, and cassette tapes, VHS tapes, records, all that are considered by the inch also. So I picked up this Metal Mania cassette tape. Cause, uh, rock cassette tapes sell well at uh, Pink Elephant. I said, okay, I found the million dollar record. 
<laughs> the Curbstones, Scrump Delicious Land. Never heard of them. I have no clue about any of them. 1973 MGM Records. Look at that. They're just so classic. 70s. I love it. Look at her plaid outfit. Big squares. Quilt, you know, almost quilted her. This one with her yellow flowers. Yeah, just great. Um, oh, this is self-knowledge book. And this has Shannon as a name on it. It's got their name stamped on it. And this was published. This has the cool little marbling effect on the edge. This was published in 1913. So this is the first edition. Shannon, oh, here's for the Uplift of Humanity, TM Shannon. Shannon is the author. That's why that's stamped in there. But it's interesting, you know, they actually took, and it's embossed, the name on the front. That's really interesting why they would do that. But anyway, fun little book. Look at how big that is. I'm like, boy, there's a lot to know about yourself, isn't there? As we all know, there's more than, there's a lifetime of learning about ourselves, I think. There we go. Get my ducks in a row. This is The Mayor of Casterbridge by Thomas Harding. Again, I try to pick up, you know, famous authors, famous books. This was actually a library book. And this is a first edition, 1922. And sometimes library book, you know, you look at it and say, oh, it's got library stamps on it but sometimes that's even better because some people like the provenance uh, of a library historical there's one that says 1988 looks like was the last time it was checked out on that particular card so who knows but fun little book then i picked these up because i you know marvel superhero stuff always sells well even if it's for just a couple of dollars because again i don't even pay a quarter for these books and uh you know i put these down at the pink elephant for three four dollars and and they sell really well so and then i found another one this is a hardcover one the official guide to spider-man into the spider verse and the nice thing about these they weren't written in or anything like that they didn't have anybody's name even though they're, you know, just a couple years old. Um, then we also picked up this Bible. It's called the Note Taker's Bible. This is one with the wider margins for those of you who don't know what a Note Taker's Bible would be. It's too small a print for my aging eyes, but we like to get these and give them to people who don't have a Bible and would like one. So we pick up those kind of things. Or like in this case, we could give this as a gift to somebody we know. So that's kind of the books. Um, then we picked up this little pumpkin dude. He's not an old one. He's actually a candle. He's a modern reproduction of an old style. Um, I'll put him down at the Pink Elephant for, you know, seven, eight bucks. He's in the kind you get at Target, I think. But again, it's that season, so if I can make a few dollars off of him, that's good. We found a little Care Bear. And this is uh, Care Bear Surface Washable 2002. So he's a 2002 Care Bear, purple dude. He's in good shape. Maybe just a little bit of surface grime, but not bad at all. Probably take a damp cloth and wipe, wipe him off and be good. So now I found something that I don't find too often, but if I, this is, you find occasionally, and I was really excited because I found two pink elephants. And of course, as my longtime viewers know, I have a booth at the antique store um, that's called the pink elephant and Brock the owner every time we find pink elephants we buy them and bring them into him and so in the back of the checkout counter it's just filled with pink elephants of every different shape style and size you can imagine well these two are two flocked I don't know if you can see it they're flocked pink elephants and they got great expressions on them so I can't wait to take them down today and give them to Brock they're a little dusty dirty so i'll have to clean them up a little bit but aren't those great they're too fun so i was excited to find those first time i found pink elephants in the bins 
I found a diecast model car. This is a Corvette from the 50s. So I think it's 57. Yep. Um, and I put these again down at the Pink Elephant. I sell them very quickly. And uh, so I'll just give them a quick clean and put them down there. I sell them as is in condition. Some of them have missing windshields, broken fenders, headlights, whatever. And they still sell fairly well for me. So I am always pick them up when I find them at the bins, you know, for a couple dollars and go from there. Speaking of little die cast cars, I found this little matchbox ones. I put these in little lots in baggies and put them down with the pink elephant also. So unless I find out they're a little more valuable ones, like I found a couple red lines that I've priced independently, of course, but for the bulk of them, the, you know, they're dollar items. Um, we found this. It's a gift for baby in a box. It's never been used. It's a little, um, yeah, this is a knitted outfit as opposed to crochet, a little hat and sweater in yellow. So it's a boy or girl gift, which is really kind of cool. But I just love the graphics on the little original box. So just a great item. And let's see, we just, all right, this was the first thing I grabbed when we were walking past a lot of the clothing bins. This is a wool bag. It's handmade. It's got some great buttons for the securing the handles on. It's got this beautiful marbled cloth interior with pockets. Looks like it was hardly used at all. It's super clean, super heavy. Be a great fall item, wouldn't it? So if anybody's interested, let me know. Um, you know, I'll probably sell it for 20, 25 bucks. Just needs a little clean. It's got a few fuzzies on it. But yeah, I just, I fell in love with the colors on that. They're just beautiful, beautiful fall colors. There we go. All right. And the other thing that we found were a bunch of vintage linens. And this is a, of course, a hot pad. And this has little flower, crocheted flowers on them. And these sell well too down at the pink elephant so i picked that up and then somebody put in a lot of work on these this this would be cross stitching and there's two of them there's this one and there was this one nope that's the back side there's the front side um so somebody put in a lot of work on these never finished them in the sense that you know they're not framed or anything so we grabbed them thinking oh it'd be nice to do something with them, save them. So I grabbed them to say, and again, I really didn't pay anything for them because if you put them in the basket, they wouldn't have changed the scale, weight of anything. And I found this and I'm, it's just a little towel or cloth of some sort. And I was trying to de decipher the scenes, but this one, it looks like two girls with a swing. And then this one, a couple but I was trying to decide like a time period and it almost felt like it's kind of medieval-ish looking but then with the swing it was kind of weird I don't know these are cross stitch art also so I wasn't sure on that one um picked up this this is a little I believe shelf hanger oops I had it backwards they're all very well done. And then there was this little tiny chicken doily made out of the cloth and applique, which is really nice. And then there was this runner. I just thought it was beautiful with the rose and lattice work. Oh, I didn't know that there were a couple stains on it, but not too bad. Um, but yeah, that'd be nice for the middle of the table or a buffet. Nice vintage item. And then I was excited to find this. I think Cindy pulled it out first. And I kind of debated for a little bit. It's it's like a nightgown. Um, vintage lace work. Beautiful linen fabric. And, um, you know, it does have a few stains at the bottom. I was like, you know, I have great luck with vintage linens, and but I just, I wasn't sure the time period of this. And I'm still not exactly sure. You know, it could be anywhere from the 
20s to the 50s. So, but for a dollar, which is about what we paid for it, I figured that's a good good thing to do. Go ahead and buy it. See what you can do. Then, <laughs> this, this is foil art. Uh, different, it's, you know, like aluminum foil, and then it's kind of painted, and it's got the black painted on the reverse side and then the foils on the back side I don't know if that makes sense so the black kind of outlines it um, and defines the picture I just thought it was really cool and it's like one of the lightest things I've ever felt in my life it weighs almost nothing so that was a no-brainer and then I uh, just as we were getting ready to check out, we passed the book and and CD VHS bins and where we got these. And somebody had put this in there, these two items, which is a napkin ring and this little holder. I'm not exactly sure. Could have had salt and pepper and oil and vinegar, or it could be a vanity set for your lipstick and perfume. Doesn't really say... And I pulled him out at first because I thought he's kind of light. Let me, there's, oh, there it is. I couldn't see it at the store, but this is Mark Sterling on the inside of it. I wasn't sure. I just spotted it right there. Sweet. So that's a Sterling item. And this, which I thought was appropriate, has a monogrammed C on the little badge there. That's pretty cool. And then on the bottom, it has a number, a mark. And right down here on the bottom, Oh, at the top, it says Sterling. So, I was like, sweet, it's mine. You know me, I see Sterling, I grab it. Oh, it's a big W, is the mark. I'll have to look that up. A W in a circle and stuff. I'm not familiar with that one. So, I found my Sterling at the bins. Yay! Um, and then... And what's funny is sometimes this sterling isn't worth more than these Care Bears. These Care Bears could be worth more than sterling. But it's our perspective on things, isn't it? Um, but I found this vintage bag of Care Bears. Actually, our friend Kate was there. I should have said that earlier. Sorry, Kate. Um, Kate met us there today. And Kate found these Care Bears, both the stuffed ones and these. I haven't had my second cup of coffee, so I'm still working on it. But anyway, um, so there's some Care Bears in here. The little Care Bear statues. And, um, and some of these troll people. Oh, there's only one troll. No, two trolls and four, five Care Bears. Sweet. And I found a couple Care Bears lately in the bins. There's the two trolls. There's the Care Oops, he's backwards. Care Bears. Um, and put them down at the Pink Elephant and they sell within days. So... I love that. Um, also found a baseball. This is the Twins. Uh, it looks autographed, but this is one of those manufactured autographs. Um, so, you know, collector's ball, quote unquote. Um, and then there's this, which I, I'm, is one of these watches or Fitbits. Or something. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but here's the. Actually, I don't think. You know, this isn't the right charger for that either. I don't know what kind of charger that is. But anyway, um, one of those. I think it's a Fitbit, but it doesn't have a name on it. So we'll just do that. So here's another one of those strawberry items. Um, this is a McCoy Nelson McCoy strawberry salt and pepper shaker in the box still. And there were some other McCoy strawberry pieces, but they're really not worth very much. They're not that valuable. So I didn't grab them because based on the weight, I'd pay more. But because these still were in the original box, that's why I grabbed these. Um, so yeah, so that was exciting. Did find some jewelry, a um, few necklaces, but nothing exciting, at least to me. There's another one. You know, it's all costume jewelry. Modern stuff. Oh, there's a... Looks like a uh, pomegranate ring. <laughs> and... And then there was... 
these two silver tone necklaces. So, so that all goes in there. But one of the things I was excited about was this tray was sitting in the bottom. And uh, look at the handles. Aren't those awesome? Definitely mid-century. And then it's a Moray Glaze Keys Handmade in Pasadena, California. There's the little label. I'll circle it for you. Um, it's a metal tray with this modeled finish on it. I think it's really cool. It needs a good clean, but it'll clean up nicely. And uh, I was excited to find that. We sell a lot of trays down at the Pink Elephant too. So it seems like a lot of things I get are for the Pink Elephant. I guess I need more space maybe, huh? <laughs> oh, too fun. Um, found another Marvel puzzle, brand new, still sealed in the box. So this will go up on eBay. Again, I haven't looked to see what it's worth or anything, but um, found a bag. I think Kate found these and handed them to me. These are a bag of um, salt cellars. They're different shapes and sizes. Here's one that's porcelain one. It's got a mark on the back, but it's kind of wore off. Can't really read it. So yeah, so this is a collection of, oh, there's a big piece of glass in this one. So one of them's broken. So there's another one, beautiful cut glass. There's another, oh, that's this one, right, no? Oh, with this faceted glass, sometimes it can be hard to figure out which one's broken. Oh, it's this one. It's the square one. Got his corner knocked off. Okay, so that's good. But yeah, and these little salt sellers are popular. You know, not that they're big dollars, but they're fun. And then found this watch. It is a Dale Earnhardt NASCAR watch with half of the original box. <laughs> it's got the bottom half. Um, again, I haven't looked it up, so I don't know what it's worth. Dale Earnhardt is worth, you know, he's very collectible. Dale Jr. Um, then I was excited. Kate pointed these out to me. There's two brass plate holders, picture holders, whatever. Um, and uh, so these, these are matching ones. So these I sell down at the Pink Elephant also, and I sell them online either way. Um... But they're great for display. Then I can have them for sale too when I use them down at the Pink Elephant. So, and then lastly but not least, we bought a bag, a ba bag, a bin full of Legos, um, various bits and pieces. Oh, and Robin came along for the ride too. Um, and we still have like, <laughs> we have some army soldiers in here. So it's a hodgepodge of different things. Uh, it's got people in here. Um, and there's some more oh and here's a loose head so you know we'll go through put these together i you know the people send, tell, tend to sell the best oh there's parts to other creatures in here too um and i was putting up you know collecting a lot of these putting them together but they've just not been selling for me lately for some reason um the lots of legos so uh, the people are but the like here's one of the people that I couldn't see before there. But the individual pieces don't seem to be selling quite as well as I thought they would. So I've been sitting on them for a long time. So I was hesitant to buy it, but I'm glad I did. Because we can probably get our money back just with the people once they take a little time to sort through them. And that's the kind of project that when I'm sitting watching TV in the evening or something, we do that with stuff together. <laughs> so anyway, thanks guys so much for watching. We'll catch you next time.